Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? So Hannah wants to go to Tim's. What have I started? Tomorrow, I wake up to the smell of coffee. That's all there is to it. It's going to happen. But until then, I'll let her buy me coffee. That's not a problem. Oh, kids grow up. They grow up. It's pretty nutsoids out there. Anyway, um, I don't have a lot to say. I haven't really been meditating much yet this morning. I've been um, just taking things in, but I haven't really been mulling things over, and I think that's okay. I think there are days like that, and it's going to be a very busy day at work. So I'm okay with that not happening. <laughs> oh, man, not every day has to be deep and heavy and whatever. So uh, I, and I don't have a coffee in my hand, right? Like, it is a mystical substance that allows one to breathe and imagine. Just joking around. Seriously, just joking around. But yes, today is a day with a huge to-do list. And I think uh, my approach to the to-do list has changed greatly in my old age and my wisdom. And it's that I can have a day with a to-do list on it. But if I get to the end of the day and not everything on the list was done, it's okay. Everything that needed to get done will get done. And the rest of it can wait. It can. I need to have time in the to-do list for interruption. I need to have time for adventure and I need to have time for me. And so that's how we're going to do this thing. I know it's a busy day, but those things that have dated, timed um, deadlines will be the priority and everything else will fit in where it fits in. That's how life goes. So Anyway, on that note, though, I'm off. I will see you. Keep your feet flat on the ground and try to take some time to dream a little bit. I will take some time later today to mull over many wonderful things that come my way. Right now, it's just that you're allowed to just plain have a regular, ordinary day. They make the beautiful, mystical, mythical days that much better. And besides... The days when it's ordinary, every day, and God still shows up, you know that there's some real there. It's not imaginary. It's not an emotional thing. It is real. And, yeah, those are good moments when you're just like, hmm, yeah, every day matters to him, too. Uh, there's a book that I enjoy called Liturgy of the Everyday. And it's about how we offer back our everyday tasks to the Creator as a form of liturgy. In the church, we do things regularly uh, in a rhythm to remember, right? Communion, baptism, music, homily, whatever you want to look at it as. Um, but there's a litur liturgical style to a public corporate meeting. And this book talks about how the ins and outs of everyday life, the doing the dishes, the getting up, the making the bed, the having the shower, the, the liturgy, the rhythm of everyday life can be given back to God as a form of offering or worship. And that's the kind of day I'm having today, which is great. It's a pretty awesome place to be in the middle of the week, just remembering who the living water is. Anyway. Have a good, ordinary, everyday kind of day. Know that I love you. Bye.